The latest Giants steal the show with Dirty Dancing ad. New York. AP. The latest on the ads of the 2018 Super Bowl. All times Eastern Time. 10. 45 p.m. The Giants won the Super Bowl. Not really. But Eli Manning and Odell Beckham Jr. stole the show with an NFL ad in which the two perform the choreography from the movie, Dirty. Dancing, complete with the iconic lift done by Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. The third quarter ad was an instant social media hit. Twitter users said they had the time of their life. Brett Werner, who is the president of MWW Public Relations, says the NFL spot on Dirty Dancing was vintage. The Odell and Eli connection scored off the field. Quote, Latest SFGATE videos now playing. Now playing security camera catches family dog start house fire by turning on stove Southwick fire. Department. SFPD plus releases plus video plus OF plus officer plus being plus struck plus by plus car San Francisco Chronicle. California Secretary of State Alex Padilla with John Diaz San Francisco Chronicle. The modern Lego brick turns 60 archival footage courtesy of Lego. The Tacro is the newest San Francisco food trend San Francisco Chronicle. NASA's curiosity at Martian Scenic Overlook NASA, Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The Tacro is the newest San Francisco food trend Chris Priavolos, Alex Martichu, SFGATE. UCB police arrest protester in Sproul Plaza Thursday Paul Darwin Picklesimmer. AFSCME plus protests plus Feb. Plus 1% 2C plus 2018 San Francisco Chronicle. Camera thief at a house near Dolores Park Lots of Robots, YouTube. Underscore underscore underscore. 10. OOA. M. Hyundai is trying a stunt to advertise that it donates to pediatric cancer research every time someone buys a Hyundai. The ad was filmed on location in Minneapolis in the days before the Super Bowl. The company invited Hyundai owners to the Super Bowl Experience fan event near the stadium and made them go through a pseudo-metal detector that went off when they passed through. The owners were brought into a room and shown a video about cancer survivors. Then, the actual survivors walked in. Dean Evans, Hyundai chief marketing officer, says some of the Hyundai owners thought they were in trouble even though the metal detectors had hearts on them. He says, there's this big heart the size of a head, glowing, and no one noticed it. Quote, Underscore 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 underscore. 9. 30 p. M. Part of the fun for Super Bowl ad viewers is guessing which brand is behind the hokey jokes or inspirational messages before a commercial ends. Tide is playing on that game with a series of ads that give one answer. They're all Tide ads. Stranger Things, actor David Harbour pops up in scenes that seem to be ads about different products a car, an insurance company, jewelry and Old Spice, another P&G product. He proclaims them all tied ads because everyone's shirt is spotless even the mechanic underneath. A car. The light-hearted ads have been trending on Twitter and getting good reviews. Brett Werner is the president of MWW Public Relations. He says the tied ad is creative and a great way to draft off of every commercial. Quote, underscore underscore underscore, 9 p. m. The trailer for, Solo, Star Wars Story, is getting the most Twitter attention so far. Followed by Wendy's attack ad against McDonald's. That's according to an initial analysis by Amobi, a global marketing technology company. Also among the most tweeted were Tide, Ram Trucks. Pepsi and the back-to-back -back Mountain Dew, Doritos ad featuring Peter Dinklage and Morgan Freeman. Lip-syncing to hip-hop. 
Tide seems to be getting positive reaction for its attempt to co-opt all other Super Bowl ads. In a spot that harked back to the Energizer Bunny of the 90s. The message is that anyone wearing clean clothes must be in a Tide ad. Ram Trucks is getting mixed reactions. Many Twitter users were put off by the use of an MLK speech to sell trucks. Others appreciated the sentiment. Underscore underscore underscore. 8. 15 p. M. Fiat Chrysler is using the 50th anniversary of a Martin Luther King Jr. speech to sell trucks. King's voice rings out as the ad for Ram Trucks shows a series of ordinary people in acts of love. In his speech, King called on people to show greatness through kindness and service. The point. Ram's tagline. Built to serve. Quote. The ad. Which wasn't released early. Contrasted with the humor many other brands are going for. Wendy's took its ongoing Twitter snark against McDonald's to the small screen. Its first quarter ad called out its rival for using frozen beef in most of its patties. Wendy got into it before the game started. Tweeting at McDonald's. Who wants a bread mac? That came minutes after McDonald's aired an ad before kickoff. Underscore 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 underscore. 7. 45 p. M. Look for his coming on the first light of the fifth day. At dawn look to the east. Oh no. That was Gandalf at the Battle of Helm's Deep. The much ballyhooed Bud Knight's adventure turned out to be much different. More like that friend who's always promising he'll try to stop by for drinks after the thing he has later. Bud Light is aiming to give impatient Game of Thrones fans their fantasy fix with a series of ads. That follow a hapless medieval army that shouts the nonsensical phrase, dilly dilly, before battle. They looked for his coming in the second quarter. Before half time. They looked to the 62nd ad. But the Bud Knight blew off his military duties to have drinks with friends. Underscore 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 underscore. 7. 30 p. M. The Super Bowl isn't the only sporting event in town. NBC will start broadcasting the Olympics just four days after the big game. So some Super Bowl ads are Olympics related. NBC is running five 60-second spots pregame. In-game and post-game. Each featuring an athlete's Olympic story. Skier Michaela Schifrin. Snowboarder Chloe Kim. Snowboarder Sean White. Figure skater Nathan Chen and skier Lindsey Vaughn. Meanwhile. Toyota has its own 60-second ad with an Olympics and Paralympics theme airing in the first quarter. Some Super Bowl ads will pull double duty. For instance, Coca-Cola's 60-second fourth quarter ad that celebrates the diversity of its customers will also run during the opening ceremonies. Underscore 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 underscore. 7 p. M. Just who are the 111 million viewers of the Super Bowl? According to Nielsen, the audience last year was almost evenly split between men and women 53% and 47%, respectively. But advertisers are again turning mostly to male celebrities. Charles R. Taylor, a professor of marketing at Villanova University said his analysis of Super Bowl ads released in advance last week showed a roughly 2 to 1 ratio of male-female celebrities in principal roles in line with past years. The first exception came after the kickoff. Toyota touted its longtime Olympic and Paralympic sponsorship with the story of Canadian Alpine. Skier Lauren Wollstonecroft, a Paralympic gold medalist, later Cindy Crawford will reprise her role for Pepsi in a nostalgic spot celebrating pop culture moments of years past. Underscore underscore underscore. 6. 45 p. M. Get ready to chuckle gently. This year's Super Bowl ads feature celebrities galore and light humor. Marketers are trying their hardest to connect with viewers and entertain without offending. 
so Bill Hader will stack Pringles to create new flavors. Lexus will feature Marvel's Black Panther. And Pepsi will show a lip-sync rap battle between Morgan Freeman and Peter Dinklage. Advertisers want to steer away from politics after a year of tumult. Many companies released ads online early in hopes of generating extra buzz since ads cost $5. Million per 30 seconds. But there are still a few surprises left. With Fiat Chrysler. E-Trade and Verizon yet to release their ads.